today back out hunting for history we've got Mike over there got Kirsty there Alison's over there and Steve's in the bushes but yeah let's see what we can get from this location today unfortunately we've got we not got Peaky he's not very well at all um but yeah he's made me come out I was gonna stop with him but yeah, this is no go. I'm okay, but so we're not peaky dippers today. We're dippers. <laughs> we are. Just we're just dippers. But yeah, it'll be. Hopefully, we'll be back next week. It's just a uh, yeah, one of them things. So let's hope we can get some goodies. And I'll, let's hope I've got some crud to take back for him. Good morning, everybody. Very wet here today, but who cares? Hope we get some treasures, eh? First couple of throws, got an old windscreen wiper and a lid for a, an old tobacco tea. Just a bit of an old shovel handle. Missing the shovel. That was my first little couple of bits. That would have been a part of the knife by the looks of it. And, yeah, that would have been part of a cutlery knife or something. Yeah, yeah, knife. So, those couple of bits. Good morning, guys. You join us from lovely Sheffield. A bit tricky to get to the water, though, but I've had a fish trap. I like to get these out and I will destroy this one before the end of the day so that we can't reuse it again. I hate the things. Now this one is an unusual piece. I think it's a double knife blank. What they use for making knives, I'm not sure. There we go. Comes straight off the uh, casting. Or well, the plates that they cut them out of, should I say. I'm not sure, I could be wrong, but it's uh, definitely interesting piece, that one. And I've had this little cylindrical thing. At first I thought it was the end of a bolt, but it's not. But as Glenn's not with us today, because he's poorly, bless him, we're going to send it back and let him have a clean-up of it, so... Got a piece of crud there, we'll have to take that back and clean it up not a clue what's underneath that I'm not sure about again we'll take it back and clean it up with some sort of handle off something or not sure at the minute wheel off an old toy got a hoop earring magnetic so not gold got part of a axle blade I think it is that bit. Two pieces of plate there. And I thought at first it was a nail. Could be a nail, but if you look at that, the, the, the end of it is brass. It's not magnetic, the end. It looks like it's brass. So, yeah, I'm going to take that back and get Glenn to identify it. Um, a weird one. 
Går det nå? Pyse klør det, ja. Så er det evig for å stange. Nå er det ikke da tapp opp leit opp. Jeg tror ikke jeg kan se det. Jeg tror ikke jeg kan se det skjøp. Jeg har pissed opp. Grip missing, barrel missing. Look. We'll see. <laughs> Just got that. Some sort of necklace. Oh, it's horrible. Look at that. Very tacky. But somebody must have liked it because I wore it. Maybe they didn't like it, that's why they threw it in the river. <laughs> at the water so that fishing line wrapped around them tubs and horrible glad that's out and that was on the floor so I think that might be to this part of the fishing rod part of a an old light shade piece of a fence pin after searching this section of the river we decided it was time to move on. Next up, we head to the spot where we previously uncovered that incredible cannon. Let's see what we find. Right guys, I'll give you a clue as to whereabouts in the industrial north we are. Any guesses? We're back at Ball Street. Everywhere else has been rubbish today, the weather's been rubbish, we've got no Glenn with us because he's poorly. I don't know. Casey's taking the time pouring the kettle on. Alison's done nothing but moan and wee. <sighs> Welcome to North. <laughs> I gotta talk. I gotta got Roman talk. I'm gonna send that back for you, Glenn, to clean up. It's a Roman talk necklace. <laughs> You're just not a peaky unless you're finding spoons. There we go, we got the peaky spoon. Good luck from here on in. I've got one for the bottle <laughs> Diddy. Nice blade. Oh. That would, I think, have been part of the key. Pretty sure. Never mind. Machete knife blank. You can see the owls. Tiny pair of tweezers. Yeah. Lovely. I've got a broken insulator. There, look. Uh, I think that's part of a, a drill. There. And a foil. Hi guys. Not a very good day for me today. The first find all day is a four. And these little, I think they're like a little wedge. I'm not actually sure. They're all coming up in different sizes, but I think they're just scrap to be honest. So. You know how we love to check every item we come across and determine what it actually is. 
Well, this one is no different. And this is in fact a Rolls razor blade, which were in production between the 1920s and the 1950s. The Rolls razor was marketed as a convenient, cost-effective solution for men's grooming needs. The production of the Rolls razor and its blades primarily took place in Birmingham, England. However, Sheffield also played a vital role in the production of these Rolls razor blades. Renowned for its steel production and cutlery manufacturing, Sheffield was all to numerous workshops and factories specialising in high quality blades. And this collaboration with established firms in Sheffield ensured that the blades met the highest standards of quality. Rolls razor blades have now faded into history, coming to an end in the late 20th century. It never ceases to amaze me the amount of cutlery that's still coming out at this spot. Another knife blade and a little dim fork. Look at an old blacksmith's forging hammer, swaging hammer. Minus the handle, you can see where the handle went in there. Twelve of these on one <laughs> on one throw. See these are like the little knife blades out the Swiss Army knives and stuff. Yeah. Still get loads of these from here, but I like these. Second find today, Potter and Dulop, so I'm happy with that. So that'll go into the collection once it's cleaned up. But it's in bad condition. The Jews harp is a small ancient musical instrument used across many cultures. It produces sound by plucking the flexible reed while holding the frame against the mouth, which acts as a resonator. Dating back over 1500 years, it's been found in regions from Asia to Europe, often used in traditional folk music. Despite its name, the instrument has no direct connection to Jewish culture, and its true origin remains a bit of a mystery. There's another unusual find there, it's made out of square stock, square bar, but it's all twisted round at that end to make some sort of a handle. So I don't know what that is. Baffling me. Got this file, excuse me, Art. Uh, unusual, it's got an handle on. It's, it's, I, I don't know, it's just weird. So I thought it was actually a knife, but it's actually not. It's a file, but it's actually a curved one. So I'm gonna take it and it's a little mud lark, a broken bottle top. It's, oh, got, the, it? it's got the vulcanite stuff on it still. Oh. The bottom of a penny lick. We want to lick it now though. I've got this tiny, tiny little buckle. Tiny, tiny. That's not a link, is it? That's not a link. It's 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 not a link. I thought this was a hag star, I picked it up from Marie, but I think it's just some pottery. Please, copper. And 
tiny piece of clay pipe. And this, I don't know what it is. It's made of copper, so there's three lugs on the top. Nothing to clue. Do research. And the battery's about to go, which is unusual when I'm near the camera. You know what I mean? And she does it on purpose. <laughs> well, I just had some canister shot. There you go, out of an 18 pounder. Oh, somebody's magnet. <laughs> Little one. In all the rope. Somebody's been here looking for cannons. <laughs> A bit of rope on that. I think what we'll do is we'll take that back, clean it up, and we'll give it to some little kid. Excellent. <coughs> right, so on that pull, but the, I think it's a little handle or something. Not sure. Then I've had. If I can hold it. I've had a fork, but it's only just come off the blank look. Not quite finished. Typical Sheffield steel fork. I've had a horseshoe for a wonky horse. <laughs> no, it's just a blank. And I've had this. I'm not sure. Oh, I think this is just a roller, like a caster. unusual piece there. One for Glenn to check out. <laughs> Got a couple of little saw blades off a for a grinder or something. And then we've got a small disc shape but it, it is slightly concave so I'm going to take that back and if you can see there just in case it is for an old button or something. Put in there. Uh, could be quite a modern one, but could be Victorian, so we'll have a look. Check that out. This little metal button is a Besking edge button, often used for workwear between the late 1800s to the early 1900s. We're all living in Oak today. My poor bro, our Glen, is poorly at home with Paulie Mara. And they're all desperate to get something that he can be he can be proud of. And unfortunately, he's not going to be proud of them today. He'll be stamping it in his funny foot then next week. He will, yeah. He'll, he'll be raring to come out next week. He better come out next he'll, week. He'll be like this. Just leave it to me. <laughs> Three years since he last had a Sunday off. Can you believe it, guys? Three years. Never mind, Steve. Let's see what me and Kirsty can find in the bottle dump. So, me and Kirsty, we're back on the bottle hunt, aren't we? Girlies day out. Women on the treasure hunt. <laughs> we're going to smash it. <laughs> and you've already had a marble, haven't you? Yes, a marble. And yeah. Let's show you. Got a pretty standard marble and a little paint. Look now the old paint trays in the school, you just put the different colours in. Look and it that. says Reeves School Quality. Wow. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. Quite pleased with that because I've never found one. It's Ooh. looking good. And uh, I'll just show you a couple of things I've had. Yeah, we both got a marble. <laughs> and look at that for a tiny little little paste jar. That is actually quite Quite lovely, to be honest. So how are we going to get scraping? We don't need one. Yeah. Alright, so we've got a little standard glass stopper there. No writing on it, but with a nice little fine. Could never leave one of these. Wow. Oh, 
was a nice little little bottle. There we go. A vial. Well, I can eat a bottle. So again, let's take you down. Let you be the first to see it come out. Can you see it there? So you all know what it is alongside me. So let's give it a little wiggle. Oh yeah, another uh, is it voil, sis? Go on, voil. Yeah, that's voil. Voil. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, but that's nice. Looks like it might have been like an aqua colour one. So, yay! Mm. Oh, it's mm -hmm. gonna see another bottle there. So, let's have a look. Is it wiggleable? Maybe not. Well, might be broken, not sure, but is it going to be something or, oh, bits coming out there, see, broken glass, oh, it's wiggleable, oh, look, <laughs> the label's still there, Hines, so, at that. It's just like an old pickle jar or something, but yeah, ain't that wonderful to see? What's that there? Oh no way! <gasps> Look at that! I can't even decipher. Hang on, let me bring you up a little bit. I can't even decide what colour it is. Is that? Looks like it could be black. I don't yeah, know. black or dark green. That is Look beautiful. at that! It was just poking its little head out there. <laughs> wow! I just seen something poking out there. I thought I'd pull that out. Well, <laughs> yeah. Bit of glass. That'd have been a nice bottle, actually. Ah. Like a kidney shape one, isn't it? It's a piece of a cup. Let's have a look at the. Let's have a look on it. See what what it what it is. Let's have a look. There's the patterning, look at that. <laughs> What's that? Let's have a look. What is it? Let's see. Oh, it's a little a little pond again. Ooh! You got a stopper? Yes. I don't think it's got any writing on, but oh, it's a stopper. There we go. Up to see. There it is. Right, so we got this little thing. Unfortunately, it's broke. But I'm going to take it back because it's very unusual. We think it might be an old coffee kind of filter system, as you can see. It's like a cup on top. It's got the handle. It's got some holes there. And then it's like a jug underneath, so we're wondering whether you'd put the coffee beans in there and then your coffee goes into the bottom. We don't know that, but we're going to have a research and we'll let you guys know. It's quite an unusual piece, so, yeah. Well, Kirsty's just pulled that out, another... Kenning's Fever Cura. They're always lovely to find. Oh, oh. I had one of those last week, didn't I? Ah, it is a different one because it hasn't got the writing on, but still a nice colour green, screw top jar, maybe Vix or something. No markings, so. Oh, that's a nice one I haven't got. Nice little stopper. Oh wow! 
Oh, I'm pleased to be there. I can't make it exactly what it says. I think it says Staffordshire Miller, but it says Willie Knoll on it. Oh, oh, beautiful. My hometown, so that's a there. nice. That's it's, a nice stopper. Yeah, it's a special one. Lovely. Pleased. Right, let's bring it down. Not sure if this is just the top of a bottle or it's complete. Oh, look. Now, it's just the neck. Oh, I can see another one there, I think. Is that one there or is it a brick? I think it might just be. That's an unusual one, isn't it? I ain't seen one like that. Probably a sauce again, but yeah, that's quite uh, quite nice. Well, I just got that, just dropped out. Lovely little bovril there. Oh, nice. Oh, stopper. Oh, nice. It's got a, yeah. Another Vulcanite stopper there. So we'll show you all, all these cleaned up anyway. Another Vulcanite. Wow. Give it a honey on. Oh, I've got another one. <laughs> another one. Oh. Yes. Oh dear. Another one. I've got loads of these. Yeah. Oh, it's in there. Sinnington and Co. Yeah. And it's not a screw top, so it is one of the older coffee coffee ones. I'll try and show you guys. Let's have a look. Yeah, it's a coffee. Some coffee and chicory. Sit up kind of thing, I think. But it's got Edinburgh on. And it isn't a screw top, so. Mm hmm. I like that. Just found this. Oh, really look. pleased with it. A lovely aqua coloured ink. Beautiful. Look there. I'll show you that cleaned up. Whatever we've got, we'll clean up and show you guys. You can't quite see how nice they are, can you, when they're covered in dirt? But yeah, lovely little ink. Oh, sis. I feel a bit of an extraction coming on here. <laughs> I got a little. I got a marble popping out. Have you? Mm hmm. Right then. Oh, it's quite a nice one. Try and clean it. It's a little bit amber coloured. See that? Again, we'll clean it up for you. That's that's a nice one. Let's find out what it's called. Right. So. Oh, let me have a look. Yep, got that one earlier. And now I've just got that one. Oh, very, that. very slightly different. That's slightly bigger. And it is a brighter aqua colour. Oh. So, so pleased with them. You're so on that the ink. One, that one's going to go to my brow and sis, Glenna Marie. Oh, sis. Sis, yeah, so, so pleased with them. Might be more. <laughs> Perfect. Just found that. Clay pipe bowl. Ooh. It's only plain, I think, but we will clean it off. But yeah, brilliant. Another different find from today. I've just got that. Look at that. A little leg. Wow. I'll have to have a look and see what that would have came off, to be honest. Oh, look at that. A little Shame. bottle. Oh, yeah, cool one. Nice, though. They, they ain't screwed up there. Yeah. It's got a little crack in it, but. Just got that. Little. Move that out of the way for you. <laughs> little bottle. South. South, south west. Oh, 
lovely. South Western Railway. Wow, that's lovely, look. And it's got a shield, like a coat of arms. Well, that's a lovely piece to keep. That's mad. So I've just got that. South Western Railway. It's a lovely little piece. Day. As you can see, Glenn's not here, he's going to hate me doing this because he's way too much. I love you, Glenn. It's been a some so sort of a day in uh, Sheffield. Got a few finds, as you'll see on the video. Weather's not been brilliant, but we've enjoyed it, haven't we? We have, yeah. yeah. We have, yeah. Missed you though, Glenn. We've definitely yeah, we missed, missed our bro. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. So from the Peaky Dippers, make sure you like, subscribe, share the videos, and we hope you enjoy. Peace out. The Finds Roundup.
Hello again all you lovely people and uh, they all went to Sheffield without me because I was really poorly. I was on my back for four days. I'm on anti antibiotics and everything to clear my chest. So I've been really ill and it wasn't just a cold or a flu, believe me. Uh, I would not miss magnificent for, you know, my life really. But anyway, I didn't go. They must have had such a quiet day. I bet they all thought they'd gone deaf, didn't they? <laughs> Anyway, so I feel a bit funny showing their phones because I wasn't there, but Marie won't do the phones, so well, I have to do. It's got to be you. <laughs> oh well, I'll do the phones as best as I can, guys. Try and explain what I think. Oh, I haven't found much. I think I needed to be there, really. But anyway, besides that, um, so I'll show the phones from the magnificent, and on the end of the video, you see there's some bottle digging as well. Um, you did put some bottle digging on the end, didn't you? Yeah. yeah. So, um, I shall the three favourite finds from that day from the bottle digging. Um, that was also probably one I wasn't at as well. So, anyway, we'll get on to the finds. So, from Sheffield, UK, the Peaky Dippers had this thing here, which I thought at first was a very old stirrup, but I'm thinking it's probably just a toilet chain, as we call it around here, a bog chain. So, an arm made toilet chain, or something to pull, a motor or something, generator cord. Um, you can see the way it's just been tied in a knot, that iron has. Mad, isn't it? But yeah, so that's that. Then what they thought that, that I think they bought it back because they thought it might be a key, but that is just a solid piece of metal. So. You tell me guys, I don't know. It's not going in the museum, not just blobs of metal going in the museum. Only stuff we can identify. Then they also found this little clamp here, which I personally think is off. You know the electric wires? Mm. That's where I think it's off. There you go, little tiny clamp. Then because it was in Sheffield where cutlery was made back in the Victorian days, 1850s, um, they pulled up a spoon, which is cleaned up quite well actually, a fork, and another fork which is going to take a bit more cleaning, maybe a grinder job. But um, people do keep saying to me, make these into trains. Well, well, I might get a bit of a collection going. Well, why are you getting better? Why don't I do you a nice big dish of soup with a big new spoon? No, you're all right. You're all right, darling. Then, because I was in Sheffield, um, some, sometimes things went wrong in the factories, you know, they chucked all the spoil, things that was re moulded wrong. And that, believe it or not, is a dinner knife. Or would have been a dinner knife. You can see they got the sharp edge of that side and then they got the other end of that side. And uh, they're made dinner knives, believe it or not, but they're just like off cuts. Weird. But they are nice to keep, I suppose. I'm not going to keep it, I'm going to give this to Michael for the scrap. Then they pulled up a little pen knife blade there. Now I cleaned this up, and this was in a lump of crud, and I do believe this here is a little typewriter key or something along them lines guys I think you'll agree with me going by the shape of that Marie found a key now Marie keeps finding keys but with the tops missing on them and that would have been a nice old key but I might have some spare hoops somewhere so any keys that are broken I still take them out because if I can repair them I will then they pulled up this object um, I think it's off a car, personally, it's got a brass top and the bolts going through it, so who knows. There isn't really a lot to write down about on this one guys, as I say, I wasn't there. There was a, a book of it Steve found, not nothing mega old, um, probably 1800s, 1900s that one. So. Not nothing I personally keep. Then they had the remains of a cutthroat, 
Always nice to find a cut for to be fair, because people are clip peaky blind stuff. Or anything to do with like gangster movies would put that in a picture frame with their favourite gangster. Mm. Well I would. I'd put that in there with a picture of Tommy Shelby from off the Pikey Blinders. That's what I would be doing with that. But, but that's that's quite beat, to be fair, it's quite beaten up. And uh, you couldn't cut ah no, you couldn't cut yourself with that. Talking about risers, now these things here Marie has put the history in about. I was cleaning these up for her and they was actually all stuck together and they started falling apart once I removed the crud and these things here guys are plates and if you can just just about make out the writing on there put there's some writing on there and that's how we researched what there was and the age of them now my personal three items for the bottle digging was um I wasn't there that day because I just remembered looking at an item actually but a very tiny small bottle which always worth keeping a small bottle in it oh, look yeah. at that where would you buy a bottle that size now it is mad in it what was in that then Marie found a leg an old porcelain Victorian doll's leg and you can see the towels look so much detail in it when you see it in the flesh or in the ceramics pardon the pun but uh, yeah so lovely doll's leg very collectible believe it or not and this has got to be my favourite now Kirsty gave memory this because she found two so she gave memory one and it is a beautiful 1800s, uh, 1850s, 1860s, beautiful ink glass pot. Look at that, and it's all cut. And it's still got the bubbles in and everything. I love it. And it's what they call a snap top ink. So I'd snap the top off there to help me, and then I'd put the feather in. And Kirsty's got the other one, hasn't Yeah. It? Well, not the feather, but they'd put, probably put, probably in them days, probably the, the fountain, a very early fountain pen gone into there and they'd have yeah so what history like, what letters have been writ from this ink pot oh mm. that's one of two that she found that day yeah Lovely. that's why she gave us one of them and bless her so that's thank you Kirsty. we are building our collection of uh, bottles and bits and bobs we'll be getting now anyway because i've given hell of a lot away and i actually went down to probably about three bottles that I couldn't part with, but I am building back up slowly, so yes. Now, while I'm on here, guys, and before I go, I'm going to do a very quick live on Saturday, which is unusual for me. I'm going to do a live on a product that a company has sent me out. Now, this product is a bit of a game changer. I have actually tried this product, and to what I can see so far, it's going to be a game changer. Maybe not for ma magnet fishing, but it um because we're history hunters and not piggy dippers magnet fishing. Um I think it's gonna come in for us when we do bottle digging, I think it's gonna come in for us when we do mudlarking. Um and the videos I think as well. And the videos, yes, I mean, um I'm not gonna say too much, but if I find certain objects and plug this in, you'll be able to see it live on the video if that makes sense so um i'm not going to say no more because it will ruin it but yes i've got a product to check and i've got companies approaching me now with products and if there's any companies watching if you'd like to send your products um and i'll do a little bit of a test on them but they have got to be along the history hunting side of stuff because it's now good me um trying radio control airplanes out because my job i'll have one <laughs> <laughs> Put a camera on it but uh, yeah um so yes we've got i'm looking at the item now and i'm very excited to do this live because uh, i think it'll be a little bit of a game changer especially to people i think the main thing will be metal detecting but i'll leave it to that guys i shall see you saturday i'm going to put the time for the live on peaky dippers history hunters peaky dippers cave I'll put the time on because I haven't come up with a time yet. But it will be Saturday. Saturday. 
um, and then Sunday we'll be going live from our location. We've got a nice location we're going back to. We haven't been there for a while. We've done there and we've done there, but we've never done there. That's all I'm saying. So we're going to go back and try this place. Other than that, guys, big love to you all. Thank you for all the well wishes for my health, uh, for I've seen coming across the internet and social media. I really do appreciate it. I'm not 100% yet. i am got that bit more to go, but Marie's been looking after me. So, big love to you all, guys, and I shall see you on the live on Sunday. And Saturday. And, and Saturday. Saturday and Sunday, I shall be seeing you guys again. Sick of talking, mate. See you later. Thank mm -hmm. you.